Welcome back to the sound for more channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can record multiple audio and MIDI takes inside Logic Pro for iPad. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Logic Pro for iPad. It's an iPad Pro M1. Let's start clicking on create projects and let's select tracks. Okay, let's demonstrate these using uh, um, audio tracks, but you can do that, apply the same concept on MIDI tracks. So let's click on the three dots and we have patch default audio patch. Let's click create. Okay, so we have an audio track. Next, what I want you to do is to go to settings and check your recording here. And um, by default, it says cycle on when the cycle is on for looping, it will emerge. Um, MIDI recording. When the cycle is off, it will create a take folder. I want to for them to create uh, um, folders, okay, so that it will not merge in different uh, regions. Okay, so let's now activate a loop in here and let's make it just uh, uh, two bars and let's uh, record something, okay? And I will use, uh, um, of course, um, some spoken words or noises to record some audios. Let's try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, we have recorded a number of takes if you click on the take itself you see it says number three there which means there are three takes click again and then go where it says takes and folders and you can see there are three different takes you can choose um, each one you want to hear so the first one for example click play that's the clicking of course of my fingers let's go and select uh, uh, the second one one two three four and those are spoken words which i've said via the microphone let's choose the third one four and that is just uh, uh, the third one when i mentioned the word four now you can do different things with each one of them so for example the third one i don't like it so let's delete it so if you go back to it now to the menu you find only two of them you could of course you can rename them so on this one we can say um for example um just words just for simplicity like that and you can see the name has changed up here and then what we can do we can go to the first one and then we can select rename again for example and on this one we just uh, uh, write for example click all clicks okay and again you see the name has changed so let's see what else we can do now other option you can flatten so pay attention to what happens so at the moment if you play you have this clicking nose noise if you uh, select flatten so you have only one take left as you can see uh, there are none and um if you play, is that it is um, that um, take where I had my uh, fingers clicked. Now let's click undo and we go back to have uh, the folders with different takes. Okay, let's select the words and let's see what else we can uh, do. Again, word sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. So what we can do also, we can export the active take to a new track. As you can see, it has created a new track. And if I mute this one, I play the new track. One, two, three. I have the uh, track with the new words, okay? Without takes, you can see that there is no number for takes. And if I go back to the original track, I still have the two takes, okay? Let's undo. Next. Let's have a look at what else, uh, what other options there are. So you can move the active take to new track. So click on that, and what happens again? Um, 
have a look. You still have uh, um, the first uh, take here, but the second one with the words has moved to a new track. So again, if I mute to the first one, one, two, three, you hear the words on the second track. If I do the opposite, you have the um, original, uh, the click track still uh, all take in on the original track. Let's undo that again. So let's see other option. What you can also do, you can unpack it. So if you unpack it, you can see there are no takes anymore. The numbers have disappeared. So the first track will be for the clicks and the second one will be for the words and play together. One, two, three, four. And of course, if you solo one, these are the words, sorry, the click. And these are the uh, words. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, let me show you now on this take, what option do you have available is the take with words. Of course, you have a pack take folder. If I click on it, you can see it creates a folder for packing. But of course, you have only one uh, take, which is the current one. Okay. And if I was to unpack that again, I will have only just that track because there was only one take. Now, this concept works also uh, for MIDI. And um, let me show you um, how it works. So let's mute those two. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's click on MIDI, the fold patch. Okay, created a MIDI um, track here. And then let's move it like so because you can click um, hold and drag and drop different tracks. And um, yeah, let's uh, record now. Let's activate a play surface like so, and let's record. Okay, I have recorded two um, takes here, MIDI, and if I open them, you can see I have the two there. Okay. So it works exactly the same way. And for example, if I want to unpack now, there you are. I have two mini tracks with the two different um, takes uh, split by different track. Okay, I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.